What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about why I am still not converting my dollars into silver just yet and how I will not be controlled by the fear of missing out. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I wanted to talk about why I am still not converting my dollars into silver. I have not in quite some time, about a month and a half, maybe even a little bit longer. As I'm sure everyone is well aware what's been going on in the world, we refer to it as the sea bug over here rather than calling the sickness by its actual name because YouTube oftentimes dings videos for talking about controversial topics due to the fact that a lot of people have been purposefully spreading misinformation. Unfortunately, algorithms have no way of determining context half the time, so it is what it is. We'll call it the sea bug. Ever since the sea bug became such a massive problem, as we've seen, whole planet essentially shut down for the most part. We've seen 20 plus million Americans make unemployment claims. We've seen massive corporations close their doors, small little businesses shut down. We've seen a lot of problems, and due to the fact that we're going through a recession, due to the fact that financial hardships are blatantly obvious, I figured it was best to hold off on stacking. Did I sell any silver? No, absolutely not. I refuse to. I will not until later in life. But have I been quote unquote buying it? No, absolutely not. And the reason for that is because stacking silver to me is not a priority. I know this is a YouTube channel that primarily talks about stacking silver, but that is not the focal point of my life. That is not what my day to day life consists of thinking about silver nonstop, like a hamster running on a wheel chasing a coin. That's not how it is for me. I stack silver when I can simply to save money for the long term. Now, do I also save currency? Yes, I save currency for the short term. I save those fiat dollar bills for the short term, but when it comes to the long term, that's what I'm stacking the precious metals for. The silver and the gold, the coins, the rounds, the bars, that's for the long term. And I will continue to stack the precious metals for the long term. But right now, the time is not right for me personally. Due to the fact that 20 plus million people have been either fired or laid off or whatever their situation is, 20 plus million unemployment claims just in the last month, month and a half. That's a huge number. That's a lot of people. And once everything starts to open back up. Once the economy starts to get the ball rolling again, once income is stabilized, at that point, I will say, okay, now's the time to convert dollars into silver again. For me personally, I'm not telling anybody to stop. I'm not telling anyone to continue. Do what you wanna do. I'm not a financial advisor, nothing on this channel is financial advice. However, the question that often comes up when I mention that I'm holding off until we start getting the ball rolling again, once we open back up and once things become in the process of normalizing, the question keeps coming up. Why is the spot price of silver is like 20 plus dollars an ounce by then? And the answer is, if that's what happens, then that's just what happens. Oh well for me. I'm not gonna be controlled by the fear of missing out. I am not going to 
make financial decisions that I'm not 100% comfortable with, strictly driven by the fear that I might be missing out on an opportunity. Now, do I think the spot price of silver right now is an opportunity? It's like $15.65, I believe, as I'm recording the video. About $15.65. If you can pick up silver for a very low premium, do I think it's an opportunity? In my opinion, from my perspective, yes, absolutely. $14, $15, $16 silver, I've been saying it for a while. Now, that's the sweet spot. Really, anything below $20 I believe, in my opinion, is an opportunity, but the $13, $14, $15, $16 dollar range I've always considered to be the sweet spot. Of course, if the premiums aren't through the roof, as we saw happen at the end of March and the beginning of April, really throughout the whole month of April, I've been seeing a little bit of a decline on the premiums though, so that appears to be good news. But Early in the month of April and towards the end of March, man, we were looking at five, ten, sometimes fifteen dollar premiums, depending on what you were looking to get or what site you were on or who you were talking to, who the seller was, who the company was. We were seeing some through the roof premiums. We were seeing premiums that were essentially a mirror image of what the spot price was: fifteen dollar silver plus a fifteen dollar premium. That's through the roof. Do I think that's an opportunity? In my opinion, not really. I enjoy the one, two, maybe three dollar premiums. So if you can get a one, two, three dollar premium on a fifteen, sixteen dollar piece of silver, in my opinion, from my perspective, that's an opportunity. But I'm not going to be controlled by the fear of missing out on said opportunity. Do I think? that the spot price is going to be 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 dollars by the time we start to get the ball rolling again. I personally do not think so. And I believe we're gonna get back on track sooner rather than later. We already see us in the beginning stages of reopening, which is good news. So hopefully, all of us, or at the very least, most of us, can return to work as soon as possible. And at that point, I'll say to myself, okay, now it's time to grab some silver. But if the spot price is, let's just say double, what if spot price is 25, 30 bucks by the time we open back up? What happens if spot price goes through the roof due to the fact that Silver is needed for ventilators, and I'm not referring to the masks that everyone's wearing. I'm referring to the oxygen machines in hospitals. Silver is needed for that. Silver, also, side note, is needed for solar panels. Silver is a fantastic conductor of both heat and electricity. Silver is used in a lot of different industries and for a lot of different reasons. And with a lot of silver mines being shut down at the moment, Prior to them opening back up, could that mean that silver becomes slightly more in demand? Especially now that all these ventilators have been being pumped out? Potentially. Will it affect the spot price? One would assume it probably would, but will it? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But it could theoretically lead to silver going up. Surpass that $20 mark for the first time in a very long time. It's very well possible. So picking up silver right now for under $20, in my opinion, could very well be an opportunity. I've been saying it for about two, almost two and a half years now. In my opinion, from my perspective, it is an opportunity. But am I going to be controlled by the fear of missing out on that opportunity? Absolutely not. I got way more going on in my life. I got way more things going for me than just strictly silver. Silver is just one of many components I want to capitalize on it to the best of my ability, but I ain't going to put myself in an uncomfortable financial situation just trying to get my hands on coins. But that's just me. I'm curious, everybody watching this right now, what are your thoughts? Are you controlled by the fear of missing out? And I'm not just referring to silver. In this conversation, I've been, but generally speaking, are you the type of person who is typically controlled by the fear of missing out? Or are you someone who 
you're perfectly fine, comfortable, and content taking a step over to the sidelines, acting as a mere spectator, because that's what I've been doing for the last probably six weeks, maybe a little bit longer. I think the last time I actually picked up silver was the beginning of March, I want to say. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head, but I believe it was early March. And then right around the middle of March, we started seeing all the issues that we've obviously been going through. Now, in no way, shape, or form am I going to sit here and pretend to be an economist or an epidemiologist or an expert, a professional on anything going on in the world right now. But from an outsider looking in, or I guess technically you could say an insider looking out, it appears that we are in the beginning stages of reopening, getting everything back on track, getting the ball rolling again, getting small businesses to open their doors, massive corporations to continue. Everyone goes back to work or most of us go back to work. It appears that that's the case. It appears that that's the goal. It appears that that's the mission. But at the same time, are we going to see a second wave of the sea bug? I couldn't tell you. I'm not a medical professional either. Everything that I say in my videos and on this channel is for entertainment purposes only with the intention of sparking and initiating a conversation. So once again, I'm curious, what are your thoughts? And please, I respectfully ask for you to respect this channel. And if you're going to talk about the sickness, let's refer to it as the sea bug in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day. 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Got a brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. I'm trying really hard to hit 1,000 subscribers, so help us out. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on everything going on in the world right now. Do you believe we are getting back on track? Do you believe we're going to get the ball rolling relatively soon? Do you believe we're going to be reopening and things are going to be in the beginning stages of the normalization process? Do you think it's still going to be months and months and months, maybe even a year plus down the road before we're starting to get back to normal? What are your thoughts and are you the type of person who is typically controlled by the fear of missing out? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.